Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brian with Man's Comics. This is a special video because I've done it. Something that I've been working on for the past three to four years and that is a complete 9-8 graded copy of that Marvel Star Masters of the Universe run. There's one comic that I've been looking for for the longest time and that was issue number six. This one took me forever to find. It took me about two and a half, three years. I was looking for it. A lot of people knew about it. If you follow me on this channel, you knew I'm a big Master of the Universe fan. I was trying to complete this run, but this one finally came up. And it's funny because I've had saved eBay searches forever. Always looking. Buddy of mine hit me in an email. Said, buddy of mine sent me a text one morning and said, hey, this Master of the Universe number six, it just came up on my comic shop. So I went there, looked at it, and I was immediately deflated with hope because it was up for auction and I was like man the auction's not going to start for a few weeks and I know I probably won't end up winning it so I was like well I'll wait for another one I'll check the auction to see how it goes but who knows and then I was like well let me email them so I emailed my comic shop and said hey I know this isn't the normal but I've been looking for this book for years. Is there any way that the seller would think about selling it outright instead of having it for auction? My comic shop emailed me back, said, we don't normally do this either, but we'll reach out to them, keep an eye on the listing just in case it changes. I looked at the listing, sure enough, it went up for direct sale for $250. I didn't hesitate, because as long as I've been looking for it, I went it there and bought it. And like I said, it took me two to three years to find one. Well, once you know it, two weeks later, one came up on eBay for auction. That one ended at $549. So I was glad I was able to get this one and complete the run for a lot less. Now, to be honest, I would have probably paid $550 for one because that's how long I've been looking for it. And I've been dying to complete that collection. So got number six to complete the run. I wanna take this time to show you issues one through 13 that I've picked up over the past three and a half, four years. So we got number six here. And then we will start with issue number one. Then we, then we have issue number two. Got issue number two here. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, Superman's Comics, you might've known multiple comic Monday, not too long ago, I posted that I had two copies of this. And it's kind of a funny story beside this because had a number two for a while. And if you look at number two and number six, they're not exactly similar, but there's some similarities there. So I woke up one morning, checked my eBay save searches, looked at, I've saved uh, Master of the Universe number six. I haven't saved as Master of the Universe. I haven't saved as He-Man. I have saved search as Master of the Universe uh, CGC 9-8, Master of the Universe CBCS 9-8. I was looking through all of them, I was scrolling, just woke up, a little tired, not all there yet. But when I was scrolling through, I saw one, I thought for sure it was number six. And then I had that like sinking pit in my in my heart. And my I was sitting there, heart was beating so fast that I thought for sure, I mean, in my mind, it was the number six. And I saw the price and it was like $79. I was like, oh, bought it, bam. Yeah, and then I got the email late, you know, after buying it, checked the email and it said, congratulations, you won. Uh, Master Universe number two. And I was like, that's not right. Went and looked at the, we looked at the listing and it was a number two. So I didn't get my number six then and I had a second copy of number two. Still happy, but the hunt went on. So that was number two. And we got issue number three here. And a lot of these I bought over the years and they were actually really cheap at the time. I'm sub like 80 bucks, 70 bucks, all the way up to average 110 outside of a couple right and we'll get and we'll get to those in just a minute but uh, here we have Master Universe number four I don't care wanted it we all know I like CBCS but I'm not a fan of that rivet label but either way I'm glad they moved on past that and I didn't care this one again was like $74 when I bought it so Then we have issue number five. This is a hard one to find also at the time. Um, <laughs> came up a couple times. Came, a lot of these came up from one seller on eBay and it was like Premier Comics. They had a lot of these. So I'd, I'd watch these 
And then there was uh, Always Ran It For Auction, Hardly Had Them For Buy It Now. And number five went up and I sent them a message like, hey, would you uh, consider selling it outright? Just name your price. And they came back and politely told me, no, we'd like to let it go for auction. This one I actually got and won off one of their auctions for um, a lot cheaper than what I was prepared to pay for it. So then of course we got number six, which I've, which I've already talked to you about. So glad to have this by the way. And then of course we have number seven. So as you can tell, it's a mix between CBCS and CGC. I'm not that picky. I'm glad to have them in a nine eight. I like CBCS just as much as I like CGC. So either way, graded nine eight. Actually, I think CBCS grades a little bit harder. So I'm glad to have those. Then we got Master Universe number eight. I'm telling you, man, if you grew up in the 80s, this is like iconic to your childhood. This this series came out in 86, 87, of course. So this one here is number eight. Glad to have this one as well. And these covers are just gorgeous. Then of course we have number nine. Got the old classic Orco on there. Then Master Universe number 10. This is another CBCS, of course. And non-rivet label, so we're glad to have that. Number 11. I'm telling you, aren't these covers freaking fantastic? It's like owning a piece of my childhood here and I can't be happier. Now outside of number six, this issue is probably my second hardest to find, uh, especially in a 9.8. Uh, we're talking about number 12 here. We're towards the end of the run, lesser print run. A lot of people are aware of this book. This, I mean, this one sells for uh, well over $100 raw in, in higher grade. So finding one in 9.8 was harder. Save searches again. I would go to conventions. Hey, do you have Master of the Universe number 12 in a 9.8? And people would go, Master of the Universe? You can check those boxes back there. And I was like, no, I was looking for the graded copy. And uh, yeah, it took me a while. Another one found on eBay auction. Of course, it, 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 uh, it crept there at a price that I was getting excited about. I didn't bid yet, so I waited it out. And I actually set an eBay snipe for it. And I got this one for uh, $260 at the time. And then of course the last one on the run, this was actually the first one that I picked up was issue number 13. Uh, picked this one up first, my buddy Sean Leggett, he's the one that was telling me about this book as well. To, uh, picked this up, I think it was on eBay auction. This was like, this is when it started, so it was about four years ago. This auction was going for, you could find these for 74, 75, $80 cheap. And you, those don't go that much. They're actually going for a little bit more now, but uh, bought this one and I started buying up some other ones and that's kind of how I started with, hey, I want to complete the whole run for this if I can find them cheap enough. And I'm glad I did it when I did because these books are starting to rise a little bit, especially with the news of Kevin Smith's Master of the Universe. You're hearing a lot of, uh, there's a movie in development that kind of put on hold. I think those rights got sold to Netflix as well, but huge Master of the Universe fan growing up. Glad to have these. I have some other 9.8s here I might show another time, but I just wanted to show you completed my run, one through 13, Marvel Star, I Can't Be Happier. <laughs> and then of course now I'm going on to what's next. Do I do the image series? Um, one thing I'd like to do is get those He-Man.org variants. I couldn't get through those on a 9.8 because they're one of 500s. There's only 500 copies of each of them in existence and they're enough to make you go broke just buying them raw. So I'm definitely not gonna be searching for them 9 So I might look for those. Um, and now, like again, I'll show you some of my other Master of the Universe 9 at a later time. Quick video, wanted to show you that. And I am super cheesy and happy. So guys, click that thumbs up button for me. And if you're new here, do a lot of comic and pop culture content on this channel. So please consider subscribing. This is Brian with Superman's Comics. And I'll see you guys in the next video.